Governor Pawlenty reveals his plan for closing a nearly $5 billion budget shortfall. In terms of your own budget, uh, was there a $1 billion deficit in February, $4 billion expected next year? Yeah, Andrew, we're going to announce on Thursday a much bigger budget deficit. Does that mean cutting the most vulnerable people? Well, that's going to be one of the pressure points for sure. We used to have award-winning health care, award-winning uh, education, and now what does our governor want to do? He wants to cut back. And how shocking is it going to be? I mean, we're hearing, obviously, Health and Human Services is an area you have to go if you're leaving some other things off the table. How shocking is it going to be when it hits? The belt has to be tightened, and we're going to present a budget in Minnesota that does that. Well, I think a public option absolutely should come off the table, Carl. If you don't like the price of potatoes, are we going to have a federal government potato farm now? If you don't like the price of toilet paper, are we going to have a federal government Walmart or Target right, to come but, in but and those compete? Are, it's hard to compare produce and health care, right? I mean, we're talking about keeping people healthy in the richest industrialized nation in the world. Well, I don't know if I'd agree with that. Your record as governor of Minnesota, which you and I have wrestled with a couple of times already, let's try it again. You say that you balance the budget without raising taxes. We checked with the head of the Minnesota Taxpayers Association, who said that you left your successor with a $5 billion deficit. 